What's going on guys, BC Gamer here. Welcome to the BC Gamer channel. I want to start this video by apologizing to you guys. I kind of got caught up in Destiny. <laughs> I, I didn't do much uploading last week and I'm pretty sure you guys noticed. And I wanted to apologize to you guys for that. It is my duty to bring you guys the latest and greatest. And uh, last, last week I didn't hold up my end of that bargain. I was playing Destiny and working and it was really a difficult week for me to upload. So I do apologize. I'm going to get back on the ball starting right now. I hope everybody's been having a good week. Everybody's been playing Destiny, for better or worse, it appears. Um, Destiny is the worst rated game of Bungie's history. Now Bungie has a long uh, and illustrious career of creating Halo games. They also made games before Halo, but uh, Bungie's overall score for uh, Destiny is lower than any of their games previously, pre previously made. And uh, I wanted to talk to you guys about that a little bit today. Uh, <laughs> This, as you guys can see, is uh, Destiny on PS3. I've been playing this with my wife, and it looks really good. You guys can tell it looks really good. Um, it plays really well. I'm using my DualShock 4, and it feels just like the PS4 version, to be quite honest with you guys. So, hope you guys enjoy this footage, uh, or maybe hate it, <laughs> because a lot of people are hating on this game, and I don't understand why. Uh, I see a lot of 6s and 7s for this game. Uh, and even lower scores across the board for major re uh, reviewers, you know, critically and, uh, you know, um, reviewed by the consumer, people like us. And uh, I don't get it. I I've been playing this game since the day it came out. I haven't, you know, gone as deep as some of the other guys from the Beastly Thoughts crew, but I'm level 20 and uh, I've been enjoying it and uh, I I've seen so much. And, uh,. I'm just wondering why. I want you guys to talk to me about why you think this game is getting such poor reviews. Um, one of the things that I do notice is the story could be fleshed out more. Yeah, that's the only thing I can really say about it. The, uh, the multiplayer campaign is very fun. There's a lot to do. Um, there, there is repetition in the game, you know, but I think that in any kind of MMO you're going to have to grind. You got to go out there and grind and level up, you know. There's lots of uh, repetition in Final Fantasy 7. You know, uh and that's one of the better RPGs of of my era. And in any game like that, you got to grind. You know, any MMO online, you're going to do a lot of grinding to level up so you can uh, defeat bosses and defeat stronger enemies. Um and it, I don't think that the reviewers are grasping that. I don't think that they understand it. Uh it's really fun to me. It plays really well. You know, the way the game controls and the way the characters move is really fluid and well to me. I, I've been enjoying it. The, the the worlds are beautiful. You know, even on the PS3, which is noticeably a downgrade from a PS4 version, it still looks really fun. I like the fact that you can get in there and, and during the campaign just meet people and, uh, you know, have them join your fire team or join their fire team and go out and kick ass together. It's just so many things that you can do here that you can't do in, in other games and how seamless it is. You know, you know, you can go to the campaign, do a strike, and then jump right into some competitive multiplayer and you don't have to switch menus or anything like that. You know, the loot system is awesome. And I hear a lot of complaints about the loot too. I hear people saying you don't get drops enough. This game is not Borderlands, you know, and, and people of course are gonna draw comparisons between Borderlands and Halo and all the games that this game, you know, has things in common with without letting this game stand as itself. This is Destiny. This is not Borderlands and it's not Halo. It's not anything else but what it's trying to be. And I think it's being judged on uh, what everybody wants it to be or, or what everybody thinks it should be based on games that have already come out. You know, um, Borderlands is a great game. I love Borderlands. I love the, the loot system. It's awesome. Uh, I love Halo. You know, I beat them all. Besides the Halo 4, I didn't beat that one. But I think that this game is great for what it is. You know, I think it's a fun experience for what it is. Yeah, the story is kind of hokey. The story is not the best story by far in uh, any kind of first-person shooter. But to me, the fun overshadows any of that negative. The fact that it feels so good to play. You know, that, that even at 30 frames, it feels very responsive. And, and it feels fun and you can go do it like me you play with I'm playing with my wife right now you know um, that's awesome to me and I can go single if I want to go go to multiplayer while she's doing something else and and we can still be in the same world to me that's awesome and uh, we haven't even begun to see what this game is going to be yet and everybody's throwing out these negative reviews it just 
it kind of irritates me because I, to me I feel like this game is just being scratched upon. You know, I hit level 20 last night and uh, all this new stuff opened up. And, uh, you know, we got daily missions and, and weekly, you know, missions that you can do that Bungie is releasing. We got an up, update coming out tomorrow, on Tuesday, that, that uh, is going to add, you know, new functions to the game. And I just feel like before a reviewer can really review this game, they need to at least touch on all that stuff. Um, but for what I paid, I paid $60 for the game. Uh, I think that I got my money's worth. I, I put probably... 18 hours into the campaign, 19 hours into the campaign, I'll just round it off to 20, somewhere in that area, I put probably around 20 hours into the campaign, I played a handful of Crucible matches, and I played probably more Crucible last night after Beastly Thoughts with the gang than any other you know time playing the Crucible, but for the time that I put into the game, I got my money's worth, and not only that, I got it for PS3, I got it for PS4, all for 60 bucks, how can you complain about that? Before you judge a game, I think that it's paramount to, to ask yourself one question. Did I have fun playing it? And I had so much fun playing Destiny, I'm not even close to being finished with this thing. You know, uh, you get a friend invite, you just see someone on, you can join them seamlessly. It's, it's awesome. You know, going out and doing campaign missions, going to the Crucible. Yeah, some of the Crucible maps, they, they recycle. <laughs> they don't recycle the way I want them to. Last night we played three or four of the same map, probably within 20 minutes. But um, I have a lot of fun with this game, and I think this game has a really bright future. And I'm just shocked, really, I am shocked that the game has gotten the reviews that it's gotten. It's being held to an unrealistic standard, you know, and the things that it's doing right are being overlooked for the things that people think or feel could be, could have been done better based on Halo or based on Borderlands but as Destiny I think this game is an awesome package you know if you like first person shooters it's awesome if you like competitive multiplayer it's awesome if you like cooperative multiplayer it's awesome if you like single player campaigns it's awesome if you like loot based gaming it's awesome it has so much to offer and I just feel like uh, I feel like the reviewers are kind of shitting on it right now and, and they haven't even seen what what really lies beneath the surface of the first 15 or 20 hours of the game. And, and I have tons of fun playing the first 15 or 20 hours of the game. You guys comment down in the comment section below. Let me know what you think about this. Destiny is Bungie's worst rated game of all time. I'm the Beastly Gamer. And I'll see you guys next time. A creature of the dark has been slain. And our world spilled another atrocity.